do up here, the most electrifying man on YouTube entertainment. It is Friday at 3 o'clock. I am in the do-up workshop. Let's talk Lucha Underground. That's right, guys. You'll notice I am talking extremely fast because this past Wednesday on the El Rey Network, we were able to bear witness to Lucha Underground Ultima Lucha Trace two-hour season finale. And again, I am talking so fast because there was so much action. We have so much to cover, so much to talk about you won't believe how this season ended but i'm here to tell you all about it and you're like do up wait a minute pump the brakes woo 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 two hour season finale that's right three matches in two hours ah four matches i don't want to spoil the fun let's start at the top of the program right now ultima lucha trace the first match of the night pitted the monster Matanza Cueto going one-on-one -on -one with El Dragon Azteca Jr. inside of a steel cage. We've seen only a very few limited steel cage matches in Lucha Underground, so we know what to expect when it comes to these amazing steel cage matches. And now we've got the monster and El Dragon Azteca Jr. going one-on-one -on -one in a cage. That's something do up wants to tune in. Ding, 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 gloom. This match is now underwear. The monster Matanza Cueto, El Dragon Azteca Jr. ready to Square off inside of a steel cage didn't take long, uh, literally within a matter of seconds, for El Dragon Azteca Jr. to get all the way to the top of the cage and then moonsault off the top, taking out the monster Matanza Cueto. The monster now on the ground, El Dragon Azteca on the move. The monster catches El Dragon Azteca Jr., reverses, and literally back throws him right through the cage. The whole cage wall comes down. El Dragon Azteca Jr. is on the outside. And the referee's like, well, he escaped the cage. His feet are on the ground. Ding, ding, ding. The win. El Dragon Azteca Jr. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -mm -mm. Dario Cueto will not let that happen. This is his temple, and he loves violence. So he got right on that microphone and said, no, the match is not going down like that. Originally, it was pin submission or escape the cage. Dario being pissed off that the ref called it a win for El Dragon Azteca Jr. when the monster literally threw him through the cage to the outside. He said, that's not a way to win anymore. It's only pinfall or submission. This match is going to restart right now. So the fighting began on the outside of the cage where El Dragon Azteca Jr. and the monster Matanza Cueto we're really tearing each other apart. At one point, El Dragon Azteca Jr. even put his hands on Dario Cueto. Back inside the cage, it was all the monster Matanza Cueto. He was unleashing on El Dragon Azteca Jr. Until we saw Dragon El Azteca Jr. come back just a little bit. Only for him to turn around to look at the top of the cage and see Black Lotus standing there. Flies off the top of the cage with a huge crossbody. Taking out El Dragon Azteca Jr. and the monster Matanza Cueto. Capitalized on that distraction. Picks up El Dragon Azteca Jr. Wrath of the Gods. One, two, three. The monster Matanza Cueto gets the win. And well... He's standing on the top rope, celebrating. Black Lotus comes up from underneath him, takes him off the top buckle, and power bombs him to the ground. Dario Cueto has no idea what's going on. She gets up in his face, calling him a liar. This, that, and the other thing. Well, it was a Wrath of the Gods for her, too, right? That's right. The Monster Matanzo back to his queen. Grabs her up. Wrath of the Gods, man. Ain't nobody messing with Dario Cueto when the Monster Matanzo Cueto is in town. Second match of the night, we've got ourselves an elimination triple three threat for that gauntlet we've seen cage walk around this entire season with that gauntlet that goes on his fit was it this or is it i don't know who he's fisting but it goes on one of his fists and it gives him all types of strength and power and now we've got jeremiah crane cage and will martes in this triple threat elimination match winner take all winner gets the gauntlet these three men were not kind to each other no sir pump kicks Choke slams, lariats, cross bodies off the top, um, pump handle inside out bombs. These guys were really destroying each other. During this match, Jeremiah Crane really got his ass handed to him. He was bleeding like a stuck pig. Didn't stop him from going to the back of the temple where we almost couldn't see. And he pulls out this huge pane of glass, sets it against the wall, and drives Will Muertes right through it. Now, Will Muertes is all bloodied up down his arm from going through the glass. And then he He's, uh, he gets these stains.
steaks, these, these skewers that you would put meat and peppers on to cook on the grill. And he takes them in a bunch and he stabs Cage in the head. They're sticking out of his head like a porcupine. And then Jeremiah Crane takes Cage with those skewers out of his head and DDTs him into the madman blood was everywhere. On the outside, Cage sets up two tables right next to each other. Then he takes a hammer and beats Will Muertes in the side of the head with it. Puts Will Muertes on the table. Back in the ring, Cage and Jeremiah Crane going at it. Cage gets Jeremiah Crane in position where Cage is on the ring apron. Jeremiah Crane is on the inside. Cage off the second rope. Does this huge suplex to the outside, sending Jeremiah Crane through Will Muertes, through two tables. This is awesome. This is awesome. Cage throws Jeremiah Crane back in the ring, delivers Weapon X, and pins him. One, two, three. Jeremiah Crane is eliminated from this match. Now, Cage and Will Muertes can hammer it out. Literally, remember, because he hit him with a hammer. And find out who's going to win the gauntlet. Cage, Will Muertes, destroying each other in the ring when... Jeremiah Crane, who's eliminated from this match, slips back in and crushes Cage in the back with a chair. Will Muerte seizes that opportunity, dumps Jeremiah Crane to the outside, takes Cage, and delivers the flatliner on the steel chair. One, two, three. Will Muerte picks up the win at Ultima Lucha Trace. Will Muerte picks up the win and now has control of that power gauntlet. Oh my God, as if Mil Muerte wasn't dangerous enough now. Now he's got the power gauntlet when all of a sudden, boom, the lights go out. And when the lights barely came back on, guess who was standing in the ring? Holy dumb shit! King Cuerno returns! Guys, if you don't know about it, last year, Ultima Lucha Dos, Will Muertes and King Cuerno went at it. And at the end of that match, Will Muertes carried King Cuerno's lifeless body out of the temple. Now, one year later, King Cuerno returns and he takes Will Muertes out and then... As Mumartes is down, he takes the gauntlet glove that Mumartes just won. King Cuerno is now in possession of that gauntlet. Oh my God. Third match of the night, our main event. This is what we've been waiting for, guys. That's right. Prince Puma, the hometown hero of Boyle Heights, going one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Mundo for the Lucha Underground Championship. And there is a lot at stake. If... Prince Puma wins. He is the new Lucha Underground Champion. If Prince Puma loses, he loses his career. That's right. It's either you're the champ or you're out of here. And well, as this match got underwear, ding, 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 gloom, man, it was like a Lucha Libre clinic. Take some notes. Go back and watch the beginning of this match, and you will see Prince Puma put on a show like you've never seen before. He takes Mundo to Slamtown. Prince Puma is the premier athlete. That's right. He's standing on the top rope, jumps across the ring post to the other top rope, and then does this huge shooting star press to the outside, wiping out Mundo. Back in the ring, Prince Puma's delivering moves like a standing shooting star press and these rolling cutters. But Johnny Mundo's got an answer for all of that. That's right, he does this standing C4. Springboard insecurities, parkour rolls, and flying knees off the ropes. Johnny Mundo almost had an answer for everything Puma threw at him. Right about that point, all hell breaks loose. That's right, Johnny Mundo standing in front of senior referee Marty Elias, when Prince Puma comes at him with this spinning heel kick, Johnny Ducks takes out the ref. Oh no. You guys see where this is going, right? With the referee down, guess who comes to the ring? All of the freaking worldwide underground, man. That's right. The Darewolf PJ Black, Taya, and Jack Evans all delivering the heat to an almost lifeless Puma. They beat him down and they beat him down hard and we got us a new referee. He runs in the ring, counts the pin, and Puma is up on two and well... The Worldwide Underground was pissed. That's right. They started to rough up the referee, man. They kicked his ass and threw him out of the ring. We've got two referees down. Puma's down, and the Worldwide Underground are running things right now in this match. And you're like, wait a minute. Why is it four on one right now? Well, guess what? Puma's got friends, too. Hell yeah. And Helico! 
returns to the temple, and well, he pretty much takes out the entire worldwide underground. Beats them down to all live in hell. That's right, Johnny Mundo on the outside, and Helico comes flying over the top rope, takes out Johnny Mundo. Jack Evans, the Darewolf, PJ Black, and Taya on the other side of the ring, and Helico, oh, wait a minute, not in Helico. The referee that the Worldwide Underground beat up takes a run over the top rope and takes out the Worldwide Underground. I never laughed so hard watching a referee fly over the top rope Cleaning out the Worldwide Underground. That was awesome. And Helico chasing the Worldwide Underground out of the temple. We're back to Johnny Mundo in Prince Puma with the original referee, Marty Alliance, now back on his feet. And this match turns into a slugfest. Right hand after right hand, Puma and Mundo are trading blows. It ends up where Johnny Mundo gets Prince Puma to the top rope and delivers this spinning neck breaker. I thought he almost killed Puma but he still couldn't get a three count. Johnny Mundo hits the end of the world, and he still can't get a three count. Johnny Mundo goes to hit the end of the world for a second time, and well, I'm afraid I got some bad news for you, Mr. Mundo. Puma gets the knees up. Puma gets to his feet and delivers this series of kicks. Super kick, pump kick, back in security kick, a huge shotgun drop kick out of the corner, puts Mundo into the buckle and on the mat just where Puma needs him. Puma to the top rope, delivers the 630. One, two, three, no! Lucha Underground Champion, Prince Puma, yeah! Prince Puma makes history by not only saving his career, but becoming the first ever two-time Lucha Underground Champion. The temple is alive. You deserve it. They're going crazy for the hometown hero, Prince Puma, when uh, this, this is where it gets a little... This is where it gets a little rough. Dario Cueto comes out of his office, microphone in hand. And, uh, well, he's like, Puma, I got some news for you. And, well, I didn't want it to go down like this because something of this magnitude, something this awesome, I would have wanted to promote. But guess what? It's Ultima Lucha Trace. And, well, this man, well, he came to me last week right after his match and said that he wants a shot at Lucha Underground Gold. That's right. Because last week, if you remember, Pentagon Dark won the Gift of the Gods championship match. And right after his match, he went into Dario Cueto's office and told him that he wants the winner of Puma and Mundo next week at Ultima Lucha Trace season finale. So now, Puma's got no choice. He's the champ. Pentagon Dark's got the Gift of the Gods title and he comes walking out with it. Ding, 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 gloom. This match is now underwear. In this corner, your champion, Prince Puma. In this corner, your challenger and gift of the gods champion, Pentagon Dark. One on one for Lucha Underground Gold. Prince Puma starts hot with kicks and suicide dives. But uh, Pentagon Dark, he saw all this coming and he got Puma in a position to break his arm. Now Puma's got no arm. He broke Puma's arm. Even with a broken arm, Prince Puma will not stop. He delivers this Northern Light suplex, rolls through into a huge another suplex. Couldn't get the pin though. He's holding that arm. It's broken half, damn it. The standing shooting star press couldn't finish off Pentagon Dark either. That's right, Puma goes to the ropes and then Pentagon Dark is right there with the point blank drop kick. Taking out Puma. Puma back on the move, delivers this flipping pile drive and that sets Pentagon Dark right in position for Puma to get to the top rope and deliver another 630 and pick up the win. Right as Prince Puma goes to nail the 630, Vampiro, Vampiro, you know the commentator that's calling all the action on the outside, he gets up out of his chair and pulls Pentagon Dark out of the way. Puma misses. Pentagon Dark with that pile driver slam that he does. One, two, couldn't get Puma. Pentagon Dark with the package pile driver. One, two, three, and no! Lucha Underground Champion, but guys, guys, I didn't tell you the worst part yet. No, I didn't tell you the worst part. So Puma loses, and he loses the Lucha Underground Championship. But 
right before this match. I didn't want to tell you, but I guess I gotta. Dario Cueto also made this match a career match. So again, Puma is either going to retain and be Lucha Underground champion, or if Puma loses that belt to Pentagon Dark, then he's, he's, he's out of the temple. Or had Pentagon Dark lost, he's out of the temple. But Puma lost. He's out of the temple. What the hell just happened? How do you do that? Puma's my favorite. I'm rock solid for Puma. And now he's gone. Oh! I have absolutely no idea how season four is going to start. We saw this montage of clips right at the end of all the action where uh, Cobra Moon had Pindar's head chopped off. Phoenix and Melissa Santos are taken off together to go have babies. And the man that Dario Cueto was working for shot him twice in the chest. Dario Cueto... By God Almighty, that man is dead. I wish I could tell you to tune in next week to find out how everything is going to shake out. But we've got to wait for the beginning of season four. There are numerous weeks off now where we will have no Lucha Underground. But if you guys want to catch up on all the Lucha Underground action, check them out on the El Rey Network. I'm sure they're going to be replaying this. Check them out on Netflix. If you guys not Netflix, pull up Lucha Underground. You guys can check out all the action that Do Up is always talking about. But that's the end of season three, Lucha Underground. So glad that all you guys stuck around hanging out with Do Up, watching Lucha Underground. I love this shit, and I hope you guys are going to tune in for season four just like Do Up. But as for now, the Lucha Underground reviews are over. Well, because the Lucha Underground season is over. So, see my watch? Says I'm out of time. Gotta get to moving. Like the video. Leave the comments. Tell me what you thought of season three, Lucha Underground. Tell me what you thought of the two-hour season finale, Ultima Lucha Trace. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe for some more fucking do up, man. I am so hot. I am so into what was going on. I am sweating like a slob.